guys remember the words? Like, because if you hear it on the radio, you get to say, I was there! I've seen it! I heard it before you've seen it! Like, like everything! And yes, I said seen it. So, don't judge me. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just getting comfortable. So, you guys, you guys love Gary just now, right? You guys love Gary just now, right? He'll probably bring him, probably be back up here later. So, but I, I want you all to like, like take for a moment, breathe, just everybody breathe. And exhale, cause we about to, we about to step into that seventh, into that seventh chamber. So everybody, give it up for chamber seven!
to make your dream come true, allow me to puff thee from the tree of ecstasy as I create love. You know, as in see more sessions. So, what we need you all to do is, we're not asking for a lot, we're just asking that you put a dollar, you know, what you have in the bucket, even if it's change, but we really appreciate that which folds. So, if you guys would do that, um, we th this helps this, this helps his travels, okay, you guys? This helps him. So, you guys, I'm gonna give it back to Chamber, and are you ready for what else he has for you? Y'all ready? 
All right, all right.
So when maybe fresh press ferment against warm breast she dries the tears that rain down my face with last love's most pain. Her focus on my existence completes this one minus rib cage. And upon my soul's cavity, she leaves the residue of medication for remaining bitterness. As I return for this description refilled by my own free will. As she sends chills up my spine that could freeze time. Second spent with her, I cherish like comfort feats of daily destiny. And I, her Adonis, she, my Venus Nepertini, holds the keys to my heart without need for Cupid's arrow. So can anybody in this room tell me, is it true? Are his eyes on this young spare? Because just to be near her is like, like Listening beads of sweat reflect the images of my soul seduction as it dances upon her internal romance to manifest the sweetest sensations to my lips, the softest textures to my hands. I am consuming her essence with the relentlessness of despising the anticipation of her prolonged absence. But this heart made fonder, I secretly admire her physique in the hue of the frigid air's cold stare by holding its door open for just one more moment. Because this kind of passion is so illogical that if I were ever forced to let go, then my desire for her would only continue to grow. So with folded lower lip under teeth, I'm clenching tightly to the sheets as I realize with closed eyes, holding those fries to ripple eardrums to some of the creation of our eternal covenant. It's one. So now I'm asking if any of you in this room have ever felt that kind of passion, because if you haven't, then I'm praying that someday you will be able to feel that I've only been able.
like he really brought it. Oh man, I was I was here for that. So, all right, um, a couple things real quick. You guys, remember when I told you it was a couple of things that we uh, we cherished here at Baggage at the beginning of the show, um, and the biggest is respect. Uh, I understand there are certain things, you know, we can't help sometimes, but like all the like everybody getting up and you know moving and you know stuff like that while he was performing that that wasn't that wasn't really you know cool all right because um when you're on the stage i don't know how many people in the audience are performers but when you're on the stage and like a bunch of people start getting up and moving it really makes you feel like some type of way like it makes you like if you're already nervous it makes you feel a little bit worse